Hello everybody, I am Nico D. I am back with another single board computer. It's this one, the ROG64. This version has got 4GB of RAM. There's also one with 1GB of RAM for $25, one with 2GB of RAM for $35 and this version costs $45. It uh, has got support for an eMMC module, I've bought one of uh, 32 gigabytes. Uh, it has got a lot of great specs, for example there is one port of USB 3, uh, it has got gigabit Ethernet, the RAM on it is very very fast, it's uh, clocked at uh, 1600 megahertz, so it's more than three times as fast as the RAM of the Raspberry Pis. Um, it has got the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins over here and also an extra row of pins uh, for other uh, devices. Um, the HDMI supports up to 4K uh, at 60 frames a second. Um, so it's got a lot of great things uh, going on but there is one problem with these boards. Uh, the CPU is only clocked at 1.3 GHz which is not that fast. Um, this uh, probably because it gets very hot, we will see the temperatures, I will show uh, how hot it gets uh, with this uh, heatsink. I've bought this heatsink with it, uh, so you really need a heatsink if you buy uh, one of these. Uh, I also use a 5 volt uh, fan for it. Uh, um, I'm going to compare this board with the Oldroid C2 with the Tinker board. And also with the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus uh, to see how well it goes uh, against those. So here we go. The first thing I did was to install the Pine64 installer. With this you can install different operating systems onto your ROG64. I've tried the Xenial, uh, Mati and the Debian uh, distros, but in both I couldn't use my uh, Wi-Fi dongles. I've got four different ones and uh, they didn't uh, work. There isn't a uh, Wi-Fi on board on this board, so uh, you have to use uh, a Wi-Fi dongle if you want uh, wireless internet. Uh, so I went to the forum and I asked for help and uh, they sent me to a link uh, here um, where uh, there are uh, some newer uh, experimental uh, versions of uh, Linux. Uh, so I tried the Xenial uh, Minimal. With this I had to install the Mati desktop myself but uh, that was no problem. Uh, the Wi-Fi did work but there was, were still some problems. It uh, rebooted uh, and Caden uh, Live didn't work on it so I searched for an Armbian version. Uh, on the main page uh, you can't find no uh, ROG64 distro, but so here you cannot find any ROG64, but if we go here to work in progress, there you can find the distro for the ROG64 and this distro is stable and the Wi-Fi works and the Blender works and Kden Life also. So let's go to the results for Blender. So here's the result of the BMW Blender benchmark in 720p. The ROG64 did it in 1 hour 16 minutes and 35 seconds. So if we go and compare that with the Raspberry Pi 3B, it's uh, 2 times as fast. And if we go and compare that with the Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, it's 1 hour faster than the 3B+, Plus, which is clocked at 1.4 GHz, while the ROG64 is only at 1.3 GHz. So here we see that the speed of the RAM is very important, even if we compare it with the overclocked Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, uh, which is clocked at 1570 megahertz and the RAM is uh, at 510 megahertz. Uh, it's still a lot faster, uh, it's uh, 40 minutes faster. So here you see that the RAM speed is very important. If we go and compare that with the Asus Tinkerboard which has got a CPU of 1.8 gigahertz and a dual channel RAM, it's uh, almost 9 minutes slower and uh, if we go and compare that with the Oldroid C2 which is clocked at 1.75 gigahertz, it's uh, almost half as slow. So uh, here we see it's still a bit too slow against uh, other single board computers but it is a lot faster than the Raspberry Pi of course. So here's the result of the Caden Live benchmark. This is a project of 10 minutes long in 1080p. 
So the ROG 64 did it in 2 hours and 13 minutes and 4 seconds. If you compare it with the Asus Tinkerboard, it's 1 hour slower than the Tinkerboard. And uh, compared to the Odroid C2, it's a half hour slower than the C2. This is a very CPU demanding task. So here we see that the ROG 64, its CPU lags behind quite a bit with uh, these other single board computers. But if this project would have been 20 minutes long, then the ROG 64 would have shined a bit more because uh, the Odroid C2 and the Asus Tinkerboard are right at their edge uh, with their 2 gigabytes of RAM and the ROG 64 would have done a lot better with if it would have been a longer uh, project. The power consumption is where the ROG 64 really shines. Without the loads and without the fan it only uses 650 milliamps. With the fan it's 800 milliamps so the fan uses 150 milliamps and uh, at max loads it's only 1.1 amps and uh, with the fan 1.25 amps. Um, so this is a lot less than the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and it's almost the same as the Raspberry Pi 3B so uh, this is really good. Then the temperatures, without a load and with the heatsink it reached 52 degrees, so that is a lot for no loads. And uh, with max load it reached 84 degrees without throttling. So uh, this is the reason probably why it isn't 1.5 GHz but 1.3. Because uh, even with a heatsink it reaches 84 degrees uh, at max load so uh, that's really a lot uh, and uh, it didn't throttle so that's uh, not so good. But if I use my fan then uh, the no load temperature went down to 40 degrees Celsius and the max load was uh, 60 degrees Celsius. So there is some room for uh, overclocking but it's not uh, very easy to overclock this board. I've looked into it but there was not a lot of information uh, to be found on this uh, subject. So have you seen, the ROG 64 isn't such a powerful uh, single board computer, but it's got a few other advantages against the other uh, single board computers. Uh, it's got USB 3 and it's got gigabit Ethernet. So actually this is more suitable to use as a NAS than to use as a desktop computer. Uh, if you would like to use a desktop computer uh, with a single board computer, then use the Oldroid C2 or use the Tinkerboard. But this is a lot better than these to use as an ass because uh, the ta data transfer would be a lot faster with the gigabits, Ethernet and the USB 3. Only the Odroid XU4 has got these uh, advantages, uh, but this is a lot cheaper than the Odroid XU4. So uh, if you would like to use it as an ass, uh, use this in instead of the Raspberry Pi or uh, the Odroid C2 or uh, the Tinkerboard. Uh, explaining computers has got a great video showing how fast this is uh, compared to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, certainly watch that. Uh, I hope you like my video. See you later. Thank you. Bye.